my friend died before 30 with a stack of medical bills from back surgery and a malpractice worthy a malpractice suit worthy appendix removal that I not only could not afford to pay but did not feel any ethical responsibility to pay and after he died my mother moved herself into my house for a month or two. I, I can't remember exactly how long, but it was longer than a month. As a sort of road to hell is paved with good intentions method of suicide prevention, I guess. Um, that was when I started losing weight though. Um, I, I had been on a, I've been on a weight loss journey since a junior uh, oh no fourth grade I, I remember haha <laughs> my my babysitter moved away between third and fourth grade and I gained 40 pounds because she and I used to exercise together um, and so since fourth grade I, I, I've been on a weight loss journey since fourth grade um, and I I lost 20 pounds the month after he died because I barely could eat. I, it felt disgusting to put food in my mouth. I did not want to be alive. Um, and I, I said earlier, uh, I do forgive my parents. I forgive my mother for moving in. Um, I do forgive her for that. I expect, I, I expect that she wishes I appreciated it, but I don't. I forgive her for it. Those are different. Um, and so a lot of things that people expect appreciation for, I'm actually working to forgive them for. Um, so that's that's frustrating that's, that's a frustrating way to live when when you think I should appreciate you and I think I should forgive you that's a weird space it's a weird space um, I do not I do not forgive the the EMS people for badgering me to call someone to come wait outside with me while the police investigated the house I do not forgive them for that. That that to me is similar to rape. They pushed me into a bad decision. They would not leave me alone until I called someone. When I said no, the first time they asked if there was anyone I wanted to call for myself, they should have backed the fuck off instead of pressuring me into bad decisions while I was in shock. So no, I, I, I do not think that, <clears throat> I do not forgive the EMS people. They should have left me alone when I said I did not want to call anybody. They should have left me alone when I said I did not want to call anybody. And my friend was more concerned in his suicide note about making sure no one blamed me than he was about trusting me to share his last moments. Or to go with him. And for that, I blame society for stigmatizing suicide and mental illness. I'm glad he spent his last morning alive.
playing a game that he loved, which was Red Dead Redemption, and it's part of why I love it. I have, I'm not a big fan of westerns or, or western stuff, but he loved it. Um, and and I love the style, and when I did video game research, um, Red Dead was the game, or, no, no, Red Dead was not the game. Rockstar was the company um, that I started doing research on. Um, but, and it was in part because of that connection, but not entirely. Um, and I'm so grateful to Rockstar for ending the sequel with a, a suicide themed song um, or a, a wanting to die song, I guess. Uh, Willie Nelson's Cruel World. Um, spoiler, I guess, if you haven't played the game. Um, and maybe it's not the end of the game. Maybe it's just in the game. I can't, I can't remember. At any rate, I love, I love, it's so beautiful. I'm, and I, it, it came out earlier in the um, thing, but um, I am disgusted that his, his mom and my mom coerced me to coerce him because he didn't want to buy the house. He wanted to keep renting. He didn't want to buy the house. I wanted to buy a house, but not this one, because this one was too expensive. I wanted to buy a cheaper house that we maybe could have afforded, but he didn't want to buy a house. He wanted to rent, which was the more intelligent option for us. Um, so I'm still disgusted that, that his mom and my mom coerced me to coerce him into buying a house at all and extra disgusted that I accepted money from his family to enslave myself in a mortgage for a house I knew I couldn't afford. And so I do not support suicide prevention until we have euthanasia. Um, and I don't, I, I, I would, and better access to abortion. Um, okay, well, I don't have a good conclusion. Um, black lives matter, quality of life matters. And so that's where I'll call it on however many parts this is and try to remember to look at you and not me because well in case you can't tell I'm a little narcissistic <laughs>